As I'm doing this meanwhile in Africa and I do a 360 where I'm standing right now, I just see gorgeous, beautiful mountains all around me. I'm in Detsa in Malawi and where I stay is only maybe 40, 50 meters away from the nearest village. Even as I speak to you, I can hear the children in the background playing and singing and laughing. What an incredible joy to be here in Malawi. Well, this week, <laughs> I had this crazy privilege to spend the whole day with Violet. And those of you that know Violet will know, if you go out into the community for Violet, two things will happen. You will walk your legs off and you will hear things that you won't hear anywhere else. You will see a passion for people and for Jesus that is very hard to find anywhere else on this planet. We were twirling up this little footpath into the hills on our way to visit the grandmother looking after four children. One of the children we especially wanted to visit that day. His name is Lemmy. Lemmy had polio when she was a baby. She's 14 now. She sat in a grass mat and I approached the home with the grandmother sitting opposite her. I was a little bit hesitant. How should I approach? What can I do to break the ice? But before I could even think about it, Lemmy just gave me this most incredible smile. Just the most beautiful white teeth you've ever seen. She just made me feel so welcome. I felt so special. I was supposed to do that for her. And yes, it's a 14 year old girl in polio, can't go to school because her wheelchair has been broken for months and months. And she can't even come out to our key point to eat at the moment. We bring food to her, yet she's so full of joy. Well, it didn't take me long to work out why she had so much joy. It was when I met her grandmother, Feroza. Lemmy was just a carbon copy of her grandmother. Oh my goodness, full of joy, thanking God the whole time. I look around her, she's got every reason to be sulking, sad, and yet she's so full of joy. In fact, it was so striking to me that not only did she look after those four children, but the rest of the surrounding huts Children just kept on coming while we were talking, sitting on the grandmother's lap, hugging her, showing her something, and then just walking away and the next one coming. Friends, it was so incredible for me. As I've been struggling with godly hospitality lately in my own heart, thinking just how we diluted it down. We don't even know our neighbors. We don't even talk to anybody. Yeah. Yes, a grandmother who's got every reason not to look at people around her because she should be so overwhelmed. And yet the hospitality is oozing out of her. Right at the end of my holy home visit, I turned to Lemmy and I said to her, can we sing your most favorite song? And she ripped loose. She sang the most beautiful song. I hope you enjoy it. I hope your hearts will be stirred today. Be hospitable. Zaimila, Vetera Zinaranga, Nanga Inu, Mutarani. Double, double, double dot, hands at work dot org.